Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 57. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 597 to 603. In this trick here, we want to look back to the last video we made, Excel Magic Trick 596. In that video, we had four criteria up here. And we actually used this formula right here, and it's actually looking up here. And if we had a blank, we wanted uh, to consider all of the uh, criteria in a particular column. So we use the search function. Now there was a problem with this. If you have the name Mo, so in here right now we should be getting a count of three. Um, Mo, Sales Rep 2, and Product 2. So you can see we get th these records right here and then anything in this column. That's why we get a PL1, PL2, PL3. But why is it getting five? The reason is because search in this column right here, uh, it's looking for MO. Well, what does search do? Search finds a subtext string within a larger text string. So, of course, it's seen um, any MO. This MO right here, there's an MO there, so the search is finding it and returning a true. And then we get an SR2 and a P. Uh, two. So if you have similar names like Mo and Mo, then uh, the search uh, function that we used in Magic 596 is not going to get the job done. So uh, we just posted. Um, there's a link right there. Barry Houdini and Jason B75 gave us some great uh, solutions to this problem. Now, originally in 596 we had a blank. Now we're going to use the word all. So you can select whatever your name is. Um, or the option all. Let's start off. We're going to actually use Boolean logic. We're going to use or logic, adding one or the other. But let's go ahead and equal some product. And the first array, well, we still need to deal with this column right here. So I'm going to, in parentheses, put a double negative, no double negative, open parentheses, and I'm going to say, this column here, control shift down arrow, any of those equal to Mo. Now, right now, we're going to get a series of trues and falses, F9, right? We need to convert them to zeros and ones. I'm going to control Z. But notice that some of them will be zeros and some of them will be one. Now, if we switch this to all, ALL -L right now, there are no alls here. So this will be all falses, which means all zeros. But watch this. We're going to use Boolean logic. We're going to add plus, And I'm going to say, is this cell equal to all? Amazing. Uh, this is from uh, Barry Houdini here. What does this do? Well, this is a string um, of all zeros. If it says all there, this is going to give us one. But this is an array, and we're saying, please add a true. Well, anytime you get a string of all falses and trues, you're doing an operation. Anything like adding or dividing or whatever converts the trues and falses to ones and zeros. Well, if you add one to a string of zeros, the one is added to all the zeros, and you get nothing but a string of ones, which means all. That's exactly what we want. If it says all here, we want there to be a one, 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 or a true, true, true for all of these. Ultimately, a one, 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 because in the sum product, we're going to take the first array and multiply it by the second array. Now, we don't need to use double negative, because this action right here, this is an operation on trues and falses, and it will yield. Uh, true plus true is 1, uh, false plus true is 1. I'm just going to hit the F9 and show you. So there you go. We have it right there, Control Z. Now, I need to repeat this for each one of these columns. So I'm going to copy. Actually, I should put a comma. I'm such a bad typer. Control C. Now I'm going to Control V. Now what do I need to do? I need the C column and the C column here. So I'm just going to change them. C, 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 C. Right now, you can see the reference up there and the reference up there. Now I'm going to come to the end and Control V. This one is going to be D, D, D. Hopefully, I'm not missing any D, D, D. I got an extra comma there. Um, I see that I don't have a comma there. So right now, this first one should be Array 1. 
This next one should be Array 2, and we should have Array 3. All right, and so we need one more, Control-V. Uh, and then I'm going to change this to E, because there's the E, there's the E column down there. So a bunch of E's. Totally amazing. So Boolean logic. Again, when this is all, all of these will be zeros. This will be one, so this will convert all of these to ones. Now, what happens if it's not? Then is this cell equal to all? Or we'll go back to the, um, the Mo one. Is this cell right here equal to all? Zero. Well, this will retain the uh, trues and falses here, which will be ones and zeros, because when you add zero, zero add to a false is zero, zero added to a true, I'm sorry, zero added to a true will be one. So it does the trick, no double negatives. And there we have it. Now, that's kind of my version of Barry Houdini's, but get this, Barry Houdini can see so far forward into a format, he can see all possibilities. Uh, the formula that he posted, he considered that there might be some situation where you have the word all. If you have the word all, then you'd have to switch over to this formula. And what it says is, uh, still the similar setup, you ha you're adding these, but for these ones right here, uh, these will go ahead and be added, but you may get a double count, right, because there'd be an all here and an all here. So that's why you said, hey, greater than zero, that means anything one, two, three, or whatever uh, will be included and then the double negative will convert them to ones and zeros because the greater than zero is going to give you trues and falses and then the double negative will give you uh, ones and zeros from those trues and falses. So that's pretty amazing to see. He, so Barry Houdini could see the possibility that there's a, some slight chance that they'll be all here. Beautiful formula. Enter. Now there's another great option. Jason B75 uh, did this one. Let's just go ahead and do our sum product. And we're going to need our double negative to convert uh, the trues and falses to ones and zeros. Open parentheses. We'll just start. We'll say this column right here. Are any of those equal to this one? Now, we can't just say that because there's two things that we might need here. It could have the names, which means it'll work just fine, or it could have all. So watch this. Instead of putting a single cell there, we're going to say if. So this is a whole array equal to if, and if is going to deliver one of two things. The test is going to be, is this equal to all, right? True or false? Well, if this is equal to all, if this is equal to all, we want a string of nothing but ones here. If it's all, we just go ahead and highlight the same column. In essence, this is saying, are all the things that are there equal to all the things that are there? So you're automatically going to get a true in all circumstances. The double negative will convert it to a 1. All right, so if it's all, that's what we want. Otherwise, if it's not all, we want to click here. That cell now gets put but in front of this equal sign. We say, is anything in there equal to mo or whatever it is? Totally awesome use of the if. All right, now I'm going to close parentheses, this, and then a comma. This construction, again, just like this one up here, we're going to have to use four times. So I'm going to control V, change everything to a C. C, if only I can see this correctly and get them all right. And then uh, here, control V. Actually, I'll control V twice. C, what comes after C? D, D. D, D. I bet you we could use find and replace, but this is probably faster. And then E, E, E. Oops, I forgot one. Oh, that would be a disaster. I'd get an error and then have to track it down. All right, and then I come to the end, right? So totally clever use of the all the uh, if function there. So that will work. Now, all of these formulas here, all of these can deal with the fact that there's mo or mo, right? When we have mo, even the search finds it because there's a mo is the biggest thing in that column, right? But when we do mo, this search is not going to, um, the search right here is going to cause a problem. Uh, if you have no duplicates, then of course this formula will work. Totally awesome. Uh, nothing like hanging out at the Mr. Excel message board. All right, we'll see you next trick.